Cheers. 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 Tip of the bird. Tip of the bird. Back again with another episode of Tip of the Bird. Nice. And we're Sounds back good. with Tip of the Bird. Yeah, so we are like the view, Filipino. <laughs> Filipino version. <laughs> Who's Barbara Walters? <laughs> the oldest one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Oprah. Oh, <laughs> I'm not no, Oprah. Oprah. Oh, yeah. uh, Whoopi, Whoopi, sorry. Whoopi. Whoopi. Yeah. Whoopi's cool. Bye, bye. You know, look the same. You know, right. I used to love that show 2020, Barbara. That's right, yeah. See, it's crazy though, because I have no idea who you guys are talking about. You don't I, I know view. Barbara Walters, but I've never heard of The View. And that's The View, it's daytime television. I have no idea yeah, what that is. You know why? That's because the generation you, grab. No, right no, 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 no. Because it's still on right now. Oh, see. You do stuff in the daytime. You go to school slash work. That's it's really for stay at home. People who can, okay, retired people. Yeah. I have a crush on uh, Joy Mary, Mary D- No. Because <laughs> <laughs> no. you know what my yeah, technique is when I talk to people? Yeah. It, it makes them, uh, you know what I mean, really listen. Like, you talk really loud at first, and then when you get to the the meat of it, you know, the part that they really want you yeah. to, to hear, you lower your volume. Oh, because they're like, what are you going to say? And then they get really close, oh, yeah. and then you get close to them, and then, you know, oh, like, the, the communication gets across. Right, very true. Especially if, you, you know, you're talking to, like, out while you're out. <laughs> Especially if you know how to uh, listen if you're a good listener, goes a long a way. Lot, a lot of people like you. That's, That's very true. true. That's no. true. No, you're relatable to men and women when you listen. <laughs> you have to, you have, you, have, you have to think about this guy first. You know, what kind of guy is he? You know, he can take joke or. That's so true. Or mm-hmm. or, or or he can be a, he can easily be get angry or something. You have like to know your that. Yeah. know your audience. Yeah. You know, know who you're talking to. For Try to come at it from their point of view, from exactly. their shoes. Mm-hmm. I never, I never throw a joke. If it, it's a first timer, you have to let him. That that that, that I know right. the guy. Yeah. That mm-hmm. I drink with or or yeah. or play ball with him. Mm-hmm. I don't don't make a joke. That's not so un, true. Not until he 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 throw first, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and yeah. then once he throw me a little, then now you know. We eat like kings, really. Yeah. <laughs> I think America's the fattest nation on earth. Sad, sad diet. <laughs> <laughs> so no, that brings us to uh, uh, I mean, uh, a way we can uh, a way we can repair America, and as far as health and yeah, and, uh, yeah. and fitness is what Kujodra, what are you doing right now? Yeah, guys, I, I really advocate fasting. <laughs> It really fixes a lot of things. <laughs> mm-hmm. You're basic, you know. The yeah, you're gonna uh, show your vlog soon, right? Of your yeah. intermittent fasting. Yeah, watch out for that. Yeah, <laughs> it's coming out soon, guys. Keep an eye out. If you want to stay longer, that's what you're gonna do. I think everything goes back to ancient man. Whatever was beneficial for ancient man is what's beneficial for us now. So, like, what they were doing all day was hunting, gathering, running around, chasing woolly mammoths. Yeah. So that's why we need exercise in order to uh, keep up with that. Uh, of uh, body and then we need we we didn't have like uh, uh, McDonald's and Burger King yeah. and, and those things back then you know we're just regular animals like lion they wait a week or something yeah. they, were, they were really strong before yeah the, the and they didn't eat 24-7 uh, they didn't eat from the time they wake up to the time <laughs> they go to sleep they, they only eat if they find a the food <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or kill the food yeah, yeah. You know what we talked about, remember, Kui Dojo? Like, it's, uh, in the form of, uh, at least in the form of Taoism, it's like, without without the greatest evil, there will never be the greatest yeah. good. Mm-hmm. And you won't know the difference between the two unless you have both. That's why Taoism is a good uh, philosophy, really. All of us are looking into it. Because I think it's more of a philosophy than a religion, yeah, honestly. Because you're not explaining away uh, evil. Because evil is always there. You cannot. It's mm-hmm. unavoid- all of us mm-hmm. suffer. All of us. You don't know what white if, if you don't know black. You, yeah. know you cannot compare it yeah. to something if you don't know what bad is. So stop trying How to... How say something is good? Right. So How? stop trying to think a bad situation is bad when it could be good. Yeah. Like, let's say you didn't get a job. Mm-hmm. But yeah. then, because you didn't get that job... You got a better job. You got a better, yeah, yeah. better job. But if you took that job, then you wouldn't have access. Mm-hmm. You wouldn't have applied to the better job. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So you can't really decide it's what's a, good for you or what's not good for you. It's bad at the moment. What I don't get for atheists, you know, like everybody has their person that they cry to in like a time of need. Mm-hmm. What do they do? 
Maybe they, they really do cry to somebody. Right, right? Who like, don't you cry to somebody? Are you gonna I mean you cry you for your mom, too? maybe? Mm-hmm. Cry for your mom. You, <laughs> You know what? You know what I think about. I, I'm, I'm not. I'm not prejudiced against any religion, even atheists. But the thing I don't understand about atheists is that how you're so absolute about it. I understand mm-hmm. agnostic people a little bit more. Where you just don't know. Where they just don't know. They're yeah. not admitting that God exists, or they're not admitting that it does exist. They just don't know. I don't get how you can be so absolute if you've never died and come back, or like, yeah, you know, like, like that's not real. Yeah. yeah. Me, I'm really a. If you wanna classify me, I'm a, an agnostic. But gearing towards uh, um, theism, believing in God, b- because I don't see any other explanation of why we exist. Mm-hmm. I don't see any, I can think of any uh, explanation. Not by chance, I don't believe in that. Not by random chance. <laughs> like the Big Bang? Random yeah. chance. And the Big Bang, just one big explosion, just put everything. If you do the math on it, that's like, mm-hmm. you, you must be so you must even, be dead to believe that. Even science says that uh, the universe is chaos, but then that doesn't make sense. And how does order come from chaos? You know? Mm-hmm. They say order is impossible to come from yeah. chaos. See? Imagine that. But, like, there's definitely <laughs> order in, the, in nature, like, or else we wouldn't have been formed. This is deep. So I it's, wonder what it's, it's like to be retired. So, so no, bad. Have, it's too short, right? It must be amazing. You don't have to wake up I don't, and go I don't, to work. I don't, know, I don't know why they made it so short. By the time you retired... Yeah, there's only 11, then, then, 11 years left. Yeah, then, that's what's then, right. That 10 years, or, or you die after that, you know. It's like, too short, man. It's messed why up. Don't, why don't you make it like... Uh, why don't you give us another... Uh, yeah. Give us a, a little uh, bonus... Like another 20 years, huh? Oh, I think because yeah. that means they'd have to pay you more. Oh, but I believe, I mean, the lifespan of a person now, it's 80 years old now. Longer, I think, now, like it's 85. It's 80 now, yeah. because of the advanced uh, medicines, uh, science, you know. No, it's crazy. Before, man, Jerk, do you not remember? I don't know if this is just the point of view of a child. But when I was younger, I remember being looking at like 45-year-olds as being old. Mm-hmm. But now I look at 45-year-olds and they look like they're like 30-year-olds. Right, yeah. Like they do cool stuff now. Remember 45-year-olds before were like... Lame and in their lame, home. Lame, yeah, yeah, in their own home. But yeah. now 45-year-olds are like freaking listening to the same music as us, mm-hmm. playing basketball with us, like going Sweet to the uh, festivals. <laughs> yeah, going to the festivals. Yeah. Japanese people are really cool. Like they, 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 they learn to master even the simplest of tasks. Like they'll be the ones to master how to make a hamburger, <laughs> master how to. They'll spend forty years on how to cut the perfect slice of raw fish. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I admire that yeah. though. I admire. They have that about the noodle them. peeling classes. Have you seen yeah. that? The need to like peel the perfect noodle out of that. Uh, and is it Japanese? Yeah, I think it is. <laughs> Just like it's crazy. No, they they turn the mundane into <laughs> extraordinary. It's pretty cool. Uh-huh. Yeah, they make everything into an art. But I think Filipinos are, uh, Filipinos, I don't know, but but I feel like we have one of the best hospitality out of everybody. That's true. You know, we yeah, make everyone feel never, included. Yeah, you'll yeah. never run into yeah. someone as welcoming. Yeah, there's mm-hmm. there's like no exclusions. Like, we won't have somebody in the party on the corner of the room. Right. Like, <laughs> that's true. That's what's so different. <laughs> yeah. That's what's really different is yeah. the, the inclusiveness. Isn't this uh, a common sense to be a gentleman, like to make everybody feel, uh, you know, comforted? Don't, don't. Yeah, comforted. Yeah. Everyone, all your guests. That's why we're. Don't just leave them in one corner there. They don't, you know, talking to anybody. That's why we're, we're most uh, likable kind of uh, people, uh, Filipino, even even the European. Uh, Mm-hmm. Uh, women, they like Filipino too. Yeah. Where can they <laughs> find that when when they go out for date, the Pinoy will handle the everything, everything, the yeah. expenses. I really don't know that before, you know. <laughs> when I came to America, I really thought that the man will always pay for the first date, just like we do in the Philippines. It's mm-hmm. already a culture. That a man must always pay. Yeah, I think that's, that's, how it is. I think that's a good way yeah. to do it. That's how it is. When I first came to America, <clears throat> I tried to pay everything to the woman that I go my first date with the white uh, woman. I pay for everything. Don't you? Don't do. 
We have to put chair. We have to. She got up and did. <laughs> oh. I said, "That's only forty dollars. I yeah, can do it. Yeah, exactly, uh, yeah. I can pay for that." I mean, don't worry. I mean, that's that's our culture. I'm, I mean. Uh, I appreciate them asking though. What's what's your stance on that? Do you do you pay on the first date? Always. Always, right? Always. Okay. Always. Yeah. Always. I agree. I agree. I think you should, especially That's if you're the, the one. I, I don't even them. think twice about it. It's just robotic. Invite, it's yeah. Like automatic. You know what I mean? No, me not only the first one, <laughs> second, the third, and the fourth. Oh, really that's nice. Until later on, she will share me the money because you're being embarrassed. <laughs> she, she would say, I mean, after like three or four uh, uh, times Dates. of uh, dating, she would start paying. And I and I I understand the fact too that uh, I understand women are independent; they can pay for their own. But if I'm going on a date with you, I'd rather include both of us in in that. Yeah. But gentleman way, you, you have to pay. Yeah, I agree. The very first date, you have to do it. If you invite somebody to something, you should uh, pay for it. Everything. Exactly. Yeah. So what if the girl asks you out? I was just like, hey, Jericho, yeah, Jericho, Jericho, you, you want to go out to dinner and get it's some drinks? Still pay for it, probably. Yeah, same. No, I've gone to the length of like where she's like, she puts down her card and I just secretly go to the waiter and I'm like, here, dude, just take my card. Uh, even to say, even even the woman will invite you, you still let her pay? No, I don't. I don't. <laughs> you still have to pay. Um, yeah, I've, I've gone to the lengths boy. of like where she puts down her card because, and I go to the waiter and say because no. Because it's already an honor. To the be, woman invite to be being invited. Your yeah. Company. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's an honor already. I don't care if I, if I spend like a hundred dollars tonight. Who cares? I mean. This person was from that night. We start believing you that you you you're not a, a materialistic kind of man, you know. Yeah. You're not. Uh, you're really a man because you're trying to guide a woman. You're guiding them through money, you know. Yeah. No, you don't. Have, you don't have to pay for that. I pay for this. Yeah. Don't let her uh, pull out uh, her purse or something. You know? I appreciate it though when you pull out your card and you pretend to pay. Yeah, at least the effort. Right? <laughs> I, like, yeah, I, I, I appreciate Make it. Make the gesture. I'm not. I, that doesn't go unnoticed. Don't just stand that there. You know what I mean? When the, when the bill Maybe. comes out, and you just stand there. Yeah. How are you gonna do that? Yeah. Those stand there, it's like nothing happened. <laughs> yeah. You have to, you have to start the showing that you, you're willing to pay too. <laughs> but they will. It's refuse. just a nice thought. They will refuse now, saying, "What are you, are you expecting? Something in return?" You know. To me, I don't expect they anything. They refuse now. They, I don't expect this anything. This is on paying split the bill. Splitting the bill. I don't think so. <laughs> We've been always love free, man. Don't tell me that. <laughs> don't tell me that. You know. They refuse now? No way. Because if, if you're slow to get your money out, that's why, that's why they refuse. Yeah. Because you're too slow to pay. Or if they really but, don't like but, you. <laughs> I'm not accepting That's the bottom line. They He's don't ugly. like you. He's ugly. But... Well, <laughs> <laughs> but if you are fast of uh, getting your card right away and then pay, they like you. You know, I had the most embarrassing situation happen. <laughs> like, not that long ago, maybe like the end of 2021. I w went out to a fan fancy restaurant and I forgot that I gave mama my card to pay a bill for oh her. Oh my God. So I got out there and I was like looking in my wallet and I was like, oh no, I don't have my card or cash. Oh, it's the most embarrassing thing. I was like, I didn't know what to do. I was like, you mean to say you go out without cash? No, I didn't have cash. I only always paid my card, but I gave mama the card so that she could pay for something for her. You know what I mean? Oh, oh my. But did you make her pay for it? No, I was just like, hey, like when the bill comes, I'll, I'm just going to sell you. <laughs>